It is on the button. We're back. What's up, guys? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> the guy just like slides down the the ramp. Oh, uh, the, the, the ice uh, at night. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Good evening. Okay. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, me too. It's on the button. Um, shout out to DSC since yeah. we're slowly weaving ourselves into that. And hopefully, yeah, because Ponky officially started writing for them. I got Cheers. my first one out. Yep. Clink. Clink, clink. Motherfucker. That's vodka and not water. <laughs> hopefully. And um, soon we'll get on the button on there too. So hopefully we'll get some more listeners. Roger. <laughs> yeah. yeah that is what it is. But for now, we are going to talk about UFC London, the Fight Pass card for Doom versus Volkov. Yeah, honestly, not a great card. And they kind of threw for Doom Volkov to save it. Yeah. But it's a uh, great card. There's, on, there's still great some decent There's still some decent fights on there. And you get it too. I mean, it's a St. Patrick's Day card, and you might as well do a Fight Pass card, you know, get some have to happen fights. Yeah. Early in the day. Yep. Well, for us. Yeah. Not them. Yeah, because London. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, they, start, they started 2 o'clock. Or yeah, is like that just the main? 45, 2 o'clock. Is it the main card itself? Main card, 5 o'clock. So I'm expecting oh, okay. like gotcha. around 7, 7.30. Yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah. I'll actually be able to watch some of them. Yeah. Yeah, a good majority of it. Yeah. Yeah. Good shit. Um... Yeah, St. Patrick's Day fights. Uh, it starts off with a huge, huge fight. Probably guaranteed next heavyweight contender. Should be. Yeah. Um, depending what happens with, you know, DC and Stipe and where people decide to stay or go or, you know. Like, DC wins and he's just like, all right. Bye. Thanks for the time. <laughs> I go back down now. <laughs> yeah, probably. But yeah, we'll we'll see. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, right now that's that seems to be the plan. This is... Uh, pretty clear number one contender fight because like if you take it for Verdum it was a quick knockout and he's got three straight wins since those two it was just two it was just Harris and Tibera yeah because was the Lewis happen before lost to Overeem he was supposed to fight oh, Lewis Overeem. I don't think he fought Lewis that's right yeah. yeah and Harris filled in for Lewis that's right yep. yeah so yeah it's, it was the Overeem loss that made him but after these next two yeah, I, I still think this would give him the shot. Yeah, definitely. Especially the way that their fight went down. And just, there really isn't any other clear, like, sh title shot. Which is why people. if Volkov <laughs> wins, that's four Worse, straight in the sense. UFC, you know. Four yeah. straight UFC wins, he's in. He's got Over it. what? Timothy Johnson, Big Country, and Struve. Mm -hmm. And then if he beats Verdum, no doubt he oh, gets yeah, it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Verdum's, you know, he's been a top three guy for years. Yeah. Yeah, he's been right there. So yeah, what this, do you think of that fight? This is this is tough. Yeah, it is. Like tougher than the Tibera one was. Like I still was like back and forth, but it was like pretty clear. Like yeah. you know, it's probably for Doom here. Mm -hmm. But I think like the reach is a big factor because yeah. Volkov actually uses it well, mm -hmm. even though like he strikes fairly similar to Tibera, and um, yeah. Uh, Cardio. Cardio is going to be huge. Yeah. Verdum looked great in that Tibera fight, but uh, Tibera let him get off whenever he wanted. Like, he let him, you know. Yeah, cardio has been an issue for Tibera. Take the Lewis fight. Yeah. He was so gassed, he let himself get, you know, KO'd late. But, mm -hmm. yeah, Volkov, it's the reach and it's definitely the conditioning. But, like you said earlier, we've seen Verdum go championship rounds you multiple know. times, yeah. So, That's true. But it's yeah, it's a really good matchup. Um, what what you got? What you got? I was I was back and forth like crazy, and <laughs> I hope this isn't a little bit of just bias, but I'm I'm taking Volkov by decision. Whoa! Yeah, I know. Um, because again, yeah, I think he has a better shot than Tibera did, and. He showed a lot of maturity in that Struve fight. Mm -hmm. He ate some good shots, but he adjusted well. 
and he was able to find openings in the right moments. And I think he can take advantage of things that other guys couldn't against Verdum in a similar way to how Overeem approached it. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I, I can totally see it happening. Um, I don't think, I'm not talking like a blowout or anything, but like no. very like a close decision. Yeah. And I just think that, uh, you know, Verdum's shown better striking. Um, he is going to mm -hmm. have trouble with this um, distance. I think it's going to spend reach. pretty much the whole time on the feet. Too. Yeah. I, a lot of people are like, oh, just take him down and take... No, he won't be able to yeah, right it's, away. It's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a lot on the feet, and Verdum is we'll go working showing on his striking. Good work in the clinch. He took down Struve when everyone thought that Struve was going to take him down and right. avoided submissions pretty well. So, yeah, I think it's going to come down mostly to the striking battle. But I think eventually the... It's going to be really wild, and I could see uh, yeah. Verdum even getting dropped. Yeah, it's going to be a f oh, oh, one of the big points I like, because I went back, I, I just watched the first round again of the Verdum uh, Tibera fight, because it's still pretty fresh. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the power of Volkov is a big factor, too. Like, he's going to be able to hit him harder than most guys could. Yeah. So, yeah, like, it's not, you know, he might drop him here and here or there. But I think it's going to be like the accumulation of those shots. Right. It's going to add up. I just can't get it out of my head that um, Verdum will end up on top. And uh, third round, it'll be like just a TKO. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm the underdog here. You know? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a reason for that. So I, I, that's very possible. Uh, moving on to beautiful co-main event. I don't know about beautiful, but co-main event. Not beautiful, but, you know. Could be very exciting. <laughs> a, co a fight. There's yeah. a fight happening. There's a fight <laughs> There's a fight where, like, a highlight reel thing could happen. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, Blackwoods has shown a little more finishing ability mm -hmm. lately. Mm -hmm. He's starting to put things together a little more as a potential contender. A couple straight wins. Manua, he's coming off the uh, Uzdemir Knockout, yeah. right? Who's the knocked him out? Yep. And then before that was the Anderson knockout, where yeah. he was like, "I'm a title contender." I was like, "Well, then." Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know it's shallow, but no. Mm -hmm. um, for me, Manua is too reliant on one shot. Yeah, he's gonna either knock you out or get finished. Yeah, or lose. Yeah, he's kind of like a Saint Prue of sorts. Yeah. Well, I think he fights a little, little bit smarter than Saint yeah, Prue. A little better. He sets up his shots. He has some crisp boxing, but yeah. And yeah, Blackowitz is improving, but he is just inconsistent right now. Yeah, it's hard to like really commit to him. Yeah, so it's it's not an easy pick, but I am uh, I'm thinking that Jimmy finds it. I think it's a first round knockout. I took second round knockout for Manoa. Okay. Because yeah, he is a he has solid reach, and guys have been able to put their hands on Blackowitz before. Like, even look at the Devin Clark fight, the way he got him was in the clinch, and, you know, he just found a submission. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, th I think Manoa can, he'll put his hands on him, and he has some real power, so yeah, he'll be able to put him down in the second. Yeah, legit stuff. Uh, we got Tom Ducanoy, exciting up-and-comer. Uh, Terry and Ware from uh, uh, Duke Rufus's gym up yeah. in Milwaukee. yeah, yeah. And uh, he's coming off of a... He put up a decent fight, at least early on, against O'Malley. Yeah. And Duke and I had a close fight with Stammen, which I didn't think it should have been a split decision. Yeah. But, you know, he still put up a good fight there. Mm -hmm. Had some of his star, sh uh, you know, taken down a notch. But, yeah. Uh, but people remember that Williams fight, his debut, it was wild, like... You know, he got clipped, but then yeah. he came back and knocked him out. It was crazy. And he was a re he was a really hyped up prospect coming in. But definitely not an easy pick here. I'm kind of yeah. I'm surprised Ware is such a big underdog. I think it's just the name value. Mm -hmm. But Warrior lost like some close fights. Mm -hmm. I think it was he. They both fought Stammen and lost by decision. And uh, the O'Malley fight, he just got a little bit outworked. Yeah. Um. This one me. Yep. Yeah, I'm taking Duke Noy by decision. Like I like Ware. I think he has good skill set, but 
Like, Duke Noy just has a little more, you know? Yeah, I also have Duke Noy. quite on that level yet. I have Duke Noy decision, too. It's, uh, I think Ware fights smarter, but I think we're going to see, uh, we're gonna see Tom come in and fight smart and fight for long, you know, long term. Get some good combinations. Yeah, on the like outside. if he catches him, he'll start to get wild. But I think he's gonna start, you know, be a little more controlled. Yeah, yeah accurate. And I don't and, think Ware will be able to take advantage of his lack of a wrestling game. Yeah, and it's Duke Inouye has the ability if he can, you know, master it. He has the ability for good distance striking, and yeah. Ware has trouble with that. Just like the O'Malley fight. Exactly. So if he if Tom comes in and fights a smart fight, he should win it. Yeah, if Ware fights smart and tries to get him down, then there's there's a chance he could pull the upset here. Yeah, if Tom but gets it's more wild. Likely Duke Inouye yeah. gets the win. Duke Inouye gets wild, he could get taken down, but yep. it's yeah, more likely. Uh Edward Sabata is probably my pick for fight of the night. Really? Yeah. I you know, I don't know how much time it's actually gonna spend on the feet. I'm not mad at how crazy it will be on the ground, too. Yeah, because Sabata is a very good grappler. Yeah. Because Edwards and is Edwards a has more like wrestler. wrestling, yeah. Yeah. And I think Sabata is going to keep it on the feet early on. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's that could lead to he'll more try, craziness. He'll like, I think he'll try to. Yeah. And Edwards is going to put more pressure on him to get it down. And then on the feet, I see Edwards with more, like, technical... You know, good combinations, but Sabata's got that power that's dangerous, so mm-hmm. anything can happen in this fight. Definitely. And it's you, me, you, you. me. <laughs> um, we both looking at the tree? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I'm just going with uh, Edwards has fought some better guys, and um, I just like... It seems like he can control it once it gets to the ground, and I think uh, he can avoid the knockout shot that Sabato will try and hit him with, and uh, he'll end up with a decision victory. I, I was th- I thought you were going to lean Sabato there. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, th- I think Edwards did some good stuff on the feet against a very good striker in Vincente Luque. Mm-hmm. He was he was winning those exchanges and put the pressure on him and landed some hard shots and. Yeah, Sabata is more dangerous for that one shot. Yeah. But if he can avoid that, clinch him up, and control him, then I think he'll get the decision win. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I was just wanted to point out that Sabata is, I think he would be the first to fade, too. But I think in that first round, Edwards won't be able to get him down if he tries to just get him down. So he's yeah. got to kind of play work the, into it. Yeah. like, technical survival the first, first round. Yeah, the first round could be interesting. Yeah. And I think it's going to get wild, so. This one could be fight of the night, too, right here. We got Phillips, a Who debut guy, <laughs> coming off of four straight knockouts and three submissions before that. And then Bird had the two submissions on uh, Contender Series. Yeah, which the second one was set up by, like, a beautiful, like, knockdown shot. Yeah. And, yeah, a tight matchup for a reason. A lot of points here, 40 points each for the debut, and then your 120 tight matchup. Oh, definitely. So yeah, you, you have you to go first. This right for this one. <laughs> uh, I, I had to just go with my gut. Mm-hmm. Um, taking Phillips second round knockout. No way, me too. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's uh, you know, like he's been submitted before, but the fact that all like pretty much all his wins in the last five years have been by knockout, like it says something. Even though I don't know a lot about the guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go with my gut. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. It's like I've I've seen Bird in those two contender series fights, and I think if you know, just looking at what Phillips was able to do and how, yeah, you know, I could I see holes in Bird's defense and just overall game plan that could get exposed, and you know, hopefully he does in the second round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roberts' end camp is pretty good. Yeah, there's a, a few tight matchups on this card, and mm-hmm. yeah, this one for good reason. Um, I know N Camp came in short notice. I want to say he was a Muay Thai like champion in Sweden. Uh, yeah, who did he step in against? Norden Taleb, I think. Yeah. And he put up way more of a fight than people, people expected, expected for a week's notice. Yeah, because Taleb's 
really good striker and you know yeah. has has the ground game so they're like oh this kid and he you know m camp's kind of got that like kid face people i think it's like, interesting that like they're start they're pairing guys together that have lost to the same people yeah <laughs> like where and duke Adoy and roberts and m camp a lot of that on this card yeah roberts yeah trading wins and losses it's kind of like i'm going down or you are kind mm-hmm. of a, uh approach yeah he's exciting and i like his volume Mm-hmm. But, you know, and Cam's going to clearly be dangerous when he mm-hmm. gets to the ground. But uh, I think, yeah, Roberts is probably going to lead and come forward a lot. And then end camp is very comfortable on the counter. Yeah. So, yeah. Roberts has to be a little careful about how he approaches. But I think he'll, he'll fight smart enough. And I think he's actually going to find him with, like, a 1-2 for a second-round knockout. Really? I'm actually taking end camp by decision. Not mad I think that. he's going to fight smarter, and he's going to pick him apart from range and just beat him with volume. I had that two days ago, so, I mean, yeah. but no, yeah, it's, little, it's a good yeah, one. Who knows? <laughs> uh, Marshman and Scott. Scott filled in for Zaleski. Was that this fight? No, that wasn't this fight. No, the, the, uh, it was this fight. No, this was, um, oh, shit. Was yeah, yeah, my yeah, Zaleski does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which uh, yeah. I'm I'm mad because Aleski Dos Santos is one of my favorite fighters yeah, to watch. I would have loved that fight. And Marshman's yeah. going to stand and trade. Yeah, yeah, he loves to stand and trade. But yeah, Scott, honestly, he's always down for a brawl too. So yeah, yeah, he'll, uh, they'll, they'll stand in and trade. Short notice. Yeah, this it should be fun. Doesn't have that excitement factor that Aleski brings to every fight. But yeah, but honestly, this is my favorite for fight of the night. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I think it. if Scott's chin holds up at least yeah, for, for yeah. a little while, then yep. then it definitely could be. Um, I'm taking Marshman second round knockout. Me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th- I think it's going to be a wild first round, a lot of a lot of throwing, but Marshman's just going to get the better of it and just finish him with with strikes. Yeah, I just think Marshman has just a slight speed and you know kind of technique advantage. Yeah, and it'll. Uh, he some, he, his crisp boxing. like It'll build up on Scott and he won't be able to take it. Definitely. Uh, Henry and debuting Dawudo. Dawodu. Dawodo. Dawodu. I'm going to go with Dawodu. Dawodu. Um, this is interesting because Henry came in against uh, David Tamier's brother, Daniel, mm-hmm. in his debut as well. Uh, and it kind of seemed like it was leaning towards Tamir's way, but Henry beat him with cardio and volume. Yeah, when Tamir couldn't put him away, yeah, he just took control. And he had a hell of a chin, too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, and Duodu, he's what, 7-0-1? Coming yeah. out of World Series of Fighting? Uh, hold on, let me... Let me I'm pretty sure that's the guy. He's the, no, he's the, uh, no, never mind, that's, that's at the bottom of the card. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's the guy. The, the guy fighting Hark, Hark Perest is uh, coming out of... He was a champion at Cage Warriors. Who was? Uh, fighting Hark Perest. His name's Nair, oh, that, Nair that did, oh, he was the champion there? Yeah. But yeah, I, I was right about yeah. World Series of Fighting Guy. Yeah, that, yeah, my bad. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of... Deb- there's like, what, five, de- four, four debuts? Yeah. So it's kind of hard to keep track. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this, this should be interesting. Um, I don't really know what to expect because these guys are, you know, a <laughs> debut and a guy that had one fight in the UFC. Is this my pick? No, it's, it's, uh, it's yours. It's fine. Just want to point out, there's five debuts that we've never seen, and it's six if you count the, the uh, bird that's his first yeah, actual yeah. UFC. So, yeah, there's a lot of new guys. I'm actually giving it to World Series of Fighting Guy. I'm giving... Oh, yeah. Do I do the decision? <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm going with what I know, Henry. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna assume that his he can beat him with volume. I remember he had pretty decent reach. Yeah. And um, yeah. His chin will hold up, and he'll get a decision. A lot of toss up fights on this card. Though. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I've got that one fight lead, but who knows after this card, it's going to be a lot of... Well, I got the points. I got the points when I got the actual lead. <laughs> uh, Bear Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Craig's back against debuting... Ankalev. 
Yes. I believe. He, uh, he's a fairly highly touted prospect. Mm. And it kind of seems like they're setting up, uh, setting him up with Paul Craig. Yeah. Yeah, where it's like Craig, you know, I got really behind him because of his, that, that his debut was a crazy, like, yeah, comeback. Was, uh, uh, what, Henrik? Uh, De Silva. De Silva, yeah. It was like a crazy, just warrior spirit comeback. But I, oh, I'm not, I didn't like his by, volume. He, by Pedro and Roundtree. Yeah. His, yeah, he just didn't have an answer once he started to get outstruck. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, and if you can't get him to the ground, it's going to be very hard for him to win. Yeah. So, what you get? I'm taking uh, Inkalev by first round knockout. Yep. Yeah. Not mad at it. I took second round yeah. for Inkalev. But, yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, I know how much you like Craig, so. Yeah. It's kind of it hard would, to watch that. I had to, like, you know, put that aside and be realistic. But, you know, hopefully Bear Jew surprises me. Yeah. Not really. I want the win, but <laughs> that's fine. Uh, Stevie Ray and Cajun Johnson. Which Johnson was supposed to fight? Rustam Kabalov. Which was the better fight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of excited about this yeah, fight, this too. Is, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what to expect. Depends on what Stevie Ray comes back after getting fucked up by Paul Felder. Yeah. And coming in short notice, too. Yeah. And Johnson, you know, he loves to sit back and counter on the outside and... People have called him a runner, you know. But yeah. it's worked for him. He's railed yeah. off three straight wins. Exactly. It's, you know, there's running and there's sticking and moving. And, you yeah. know, he's, there's some power behind it. There's Fighting smart technique. when you got a guy that has the power to knock you out. And if they're going to pressure, counter. Yeah. That's what it is. And Ray is kind of a pressure guy. Um, I think he might want to try and take it to the ground. Yeah, I, in I'm this pretty fight. sure he will try to. But, uh, you know. I think on the feed, Johnson might actually give him some trouble. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a good matchup. I think Ray is going to have a better chance of keeping up with the speed of Johnson than uh, Martins did. Yeah, Martins is kind of on a downslope. That seemed to be pretty, uh, pretty apparent that Johnson had the speed there. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm actually taking the Rage and Cajun oh, for, yeah? for the decision. I had that, and then I watched film. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going with Ray by decision because I think he will be able to get Johnson down. Yeah. If he doesn't get caught, you know. Right. Because also, like, he was close to getting Felder down and then he got caught with that knee and then it was over. Yeah. Cajun's... But I don't, I don't think he, Johnson's as opportunistic as Felder. Yeah. Felder's a assassinator, so. Assassin. Assassinator? <laughs> <laughs> the assassinator. <laughs> Uh, Mark Godbeer is trying to find a victory. That's not by yeah. losing to a head kick victory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Sosnovsky is not a slouch either. Yeah. Has a win over uh, Alex Emilienko, mm -hmm. which I don't know how good of a win that is, but it's a solid name, so. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, same same approach for most all the Godbeer fights, and it's proven to be true. It's Godbeer could find that first round knockout, but if he doesn't, things are going downhill fast. Definitely. You kind of expect to see some better cardio each time, but it mm -hmm. hasn't happened yet. So, what do you think? I'm, uh, I, I can't trust Godbeer. Yeah, I know. Uh, he was going to lose that fight if even if he didn't get kicked in the head. Yeah, you know? yeah that was bad. I'm, t I'm taking Sosnovsky second round knockout. Yep, me too. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, he's starting to feel like a big old Kamozi. <laughs> yeah, kind of. He'll probably get cut soon enough. Um, yeah. Hot pressed. <laughs> Hot pressed, man. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Nair, 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 Nair Money filled in for... Alex Reyes. Yes. Yeah. And, um, yeah, this guy just, just got the uh, featherweight championship at Cage Warriors. That's and, cool. Uh, filled in after the Reyes drop. So Hawk Press, you said all of his finishes first round? Yep. Well not for I They're don't know first round, but they've knockout. all been knockouts. Okay. And uh He lost his debut by decision, I think. In the UFC. I think so. Here, let me 
Just give me one second. Just to be yeah, sure. Yeah, it lost to March and held. Okay, yeah. But I mean, you know. Probably got March and held down. Yeah. Get the fuck, fuck out, out of my house. <laughs> 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 if, if they made like dolls with like the pulley string at the back of us like <laughs> if we became famous it would be get the fuck out of my house would be yeah. the first uh yeah first one. yeah it would uh, um yeah this is me i think uh this is too big a jump for now Nar- Nar- the, the, the new yep. guy <laughs> and uh hack press is gonna take it to him and actually uh Overwhelm him and find the first round knockout. I also had first round knockout awesome. for Hack <laughs> Press. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm trusting the power there. Because mm-hmm. it's not a fluke when you knock eight people out. Yeah, and he's just shown really, you know, good technique of setting shots up and everything. So. Yeah. And as long as he can stay on his feet, then yeah, he should be able to find it. Because new guy has, you know, he has wins by knockout and submissions and mm-hmm. some decisions, so... You know, he's he's well-rounded, but I, I think this is too much for him. I agree. UFC London. How many difference do we have? We got one. We got two. We got three. And that is all she wrote. <laughs> oh, four. Because you have Volkov. Volkov, Emma right. Camp, Henry, and Ray. Yeah. Should be interesting. We'll split. <laughs> we'll <again>. split. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The only reason one of us is leading is because there was five difference, and we pretty From much voice. split. <laughs> like, yeah, three exactly. and two. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, should be, should be okay. Should be should just be fine. Just, just fine. <laughs> but then, UFC more. <laughs> 223 is stacked. Keep it in your pants, Pocky. No one wants to see that. <laughs> I can't keep Pocky, it. no. No. Pocky, no. Fine. I'll sploosh <laughs> next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. it's That one's going to be awesome. That's such yeah. a stacked card. I mean, take just the two title fights that are fucking ridiculous. Yeah, but yeah. also top to bottom is just oh, yeah. Yeah. fucking no, it is. amazing. Like, it's going to make every other card look bad for a bit. <laughs> yeah, well... So, up until, you know, some of these super fights coming up in Chicago and all that stuff. Yeah. But, for now, this is on the button. Maybe next time we'll be uh, we'll be listening oh. <laughs> from uh, DSE or whatever it is. Yeah, we hope so. so or uh, Sports Radio Detroit. Roger. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> They're like, who the fuck is Roger? <laughs> Who the fuck is it? <laughs> okay, so uh, we're not going to tell you. And um, maybe yeah, maybe. we'll we'll see you uh, next week. later. Next week, enjoy the card if you watch it. Uh, don't die on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Have fun, kids. Yeah. Wish I could partake. Yeah. I'm gonna maybe after be partying with my parents till they pass out oh, at yeah. 6 p.m. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, no, no, that should be fun. I'll try going downtown. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Keep your chin tucked, guys. This is on the button. Enjoy. And, um, hey, uh, Pocky. Yep. Pocky, I, uh, I just want to say, um. Yes. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and get the fuck out. <laughs>